hi welcome back to my channel thanks so much for joining me here today today I got inspired to just do a daily routine and a daily makeup video for you guys so I decided to just bring my camera into the bathroom with me and show you what I do on a daily basis so this is my daily skincare routine it is the late winter time so I've actually been keeping it pretty simple, but I like to give my skin lots of hydration and good moisturization. So I'll show you what I've been doing for that. And then this is just going to be my very quick, very simple makeup look for just running errands and just keeping it really simple. Even if I'm staying at home, I have typically been liking to put a little bit of something on my face just to make me feel a little bit better, a little bit more alive and ready for the day. So let's go ahead and jump into what I have been doing on the daily for the last couple of months here. So as you can see, I'm totally barefaced here. So what I typically do um, pretty much every morning is splash my face with water. But today I do think I'm going to go ahead and wash my face with this oil cleanser that I love so much, as you guys know, if you frequent my channel, I love the Live Botanical Nourishing Cleansing Oil. And I want to go ahead and do that this morning because I feel like I do need a little bit of a facial massage. I have a little bit of puffiness under my eyes. So I do want to do a little bit of massage just to kind of move some of this stagnation that I've got going on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair back and you will see when I get my hair back here, you'll see a little bit more of the grays, which is an evolution here. I have not drawn anything to my hair. If you guys have been following my, you know, quote unquote gray journey, you know that I have not touched my roots, have not dyed my roots for a long time. It's been over two years, but I have been doing some highlights, uh, but I have not done any highlights to my hair since last July it was. And I know that I am due for an update a gray update, which will be coming soon. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, I've got a little bit of puffiness here. So I like to do a little bit of massage under my eyes and actually just around the whole orbital bone in general. And this cleansing oil is an emulsifying cleansing oil. So it does rinse off with water and it smells so beautiful. That's why I like using it. I like using it at nighttime as well, but I do like using it in the morning because the scent is just really, um, it's just very enlivening. It just kind of wakes you up with this beautiful scent of lemon balm. It has a really beautiful scent of, has that really refreshing scent of lemon, but not overpowering. It doesn't smell like a cleanser, you know? So that does it for the massage. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off now. If you heard me talk about this cleanser in the past, you know that I like it so much because it does not leave your skin feeling stripped. Sometimes um, emulsifying oil cleansers can leave your skin feeling on the stripped side, which I know sounds kind of counterintuitive, but sometimes they are heavy on the emulsifiers. This one is very low concentration of emulsifier. So it leaves your skin feeling very supple. I actually do not feel too much of a residue. It's very, very mild. Just leaves your skin feeling very lovely, very soft, very supple. So this is just my absolute favorite oil cleanser, especially one that does emulsify. So if you are looking for an oil cleanser that does emulsify, I do highly recommend this one. And I think it makes a really lovely oil cleanser for the morning. So next up, I am going to do a toner. I think I'm gonna go ahead and reach for the Youth to the People Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. This one I love so much because it has such a beautiful mister. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it is super, super fine. It has a really lovely scent and it has just a little bit of uh, lactic acid in it which is one of my favorite ingredients. Now I used to love to layer my toners. I don't do that so much anymore, but I think I'm going to today because I just really want that extra hydration. So I'm going to layer the Earthwise Beauty Three Roses toner on top of that. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit and give my skin a nice dousing of this one as well. This has such a gorgeous scent of rose. If you guys like rose, I highly recommend that. 
So after toning, of course, I'm going to do a serum and I think I'm going to reach for one of my favorites. This is the Sahara Rose Vitamin C Serum. And this is really lovely. I love the texture of this one. And this has uh, moth bean in it as well as vitamin C. And I really like to focus above my lip here because I do have a tendency towards melasma. It's under pretty decent control right now, but I want to make sure it stays that way. So we're just patting that serum on. Because it's the winter, I am going to reach for a cream. I'm going to put on the Dom Dom. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. It's spelled D-A-M-D-A-M. -D -A -M. This is their Mochi Mochi Luminous Cream. It's a really thick cream that absorbs in really well. I just love this texture so much. So I am going to put that on my hands as well as my face. Make sure that I get it under my eyes. So I will be putting on a little bit of concealer because as you can tell, I've got some dark circles happening. And this cream just feels so amazing. I love the texture of this. It's, um, it's kind of bouncy and whipped frosting kind of texture that just feels so good going onto my skin. The scent is very, very light. It's kind of got a little bit of a grassy scent that is just very refreshing, uh, very inoffensive, very, very light, just almost barely perceptible, but definitely there, but then it dissipates really, really quickly. So I really, really love this cream. I think I randomly found it on the Sephora website when I was looking specifically for a cream for the winter time. I purchased this before my no buy and I think I got it during the Sephora sale and I'm just so happy I got it because I really, really have been enjoying it. It's just that perfect texture. I really love emollient creams, so it is very emollient, but not overly so. It doesn't make my skin feel greasy. It absorbs really well, but yet I do have that emollient feeling. It doesn't dry down matte or that satin matte that I'm not super fond of. I definitely get that emollient feeling. I know I keep saying that, but that is really what my preference is, especially under foundations. So this has become a big favorite of mine over the last couple months. And then what I like to do with a little bit of the remnants on the palms of my hand, I will kind of put it through my hair because I typically have just like a few flyaways or frizzies. So I'll just kind of put that through the rest of my hair to kind of tamp that down just a little bit. And then what I've been using for sunscreen is the Say Sun Visor, and this has an SPF 30. I believe this just comes in one color, so I can't really speak to you know the universality of this, how this would work on darker skin tones. But for me, this has actually been working really well. I'll try to show you what it looks like in terms of the color. The lighting in here might wash it out just a little bit. I will see if I can get a better cut away for you in terms of the color. As far as the texture goes, it has a really thin texture. It goes on really smoothly. It has a really nice look to it and it does have a thin texture to it. And again, like I said, I like to make sure I get it on my upper lip here because that is a problem area. I actually do put it on my lids. I have not had any issue with uh, irritation. All right, so I'm just gonna back away here and make sure I'm getting this applied properly. As you might be able to tell, the finish of this is extra, extra glowy, extra, extra dewy. So what I typically do is at this point, I wash my hands to get the product off. And right now I am basically in my pajamas. This is the t-shirt that I wore to bed and then I just put this hoodie on uh, right as I got out of bed because it was really cold in the house. So while I let the Say Sun Visor basically set down just a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and come back and then I will apply my makeup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply some concealer and typically on a day-to-day -day basis, if I'm just running around, like I said, doing errands, 
which is what I'm going to be doing today. I typically don't wear concealer because I just find it to be too high maintenance, but I have actually been using the Kosas concealer. This is a new product to me. Again, like I mentioned in that wish list slash no buy video that I just did, um, I did go a little crazy on some makeup purchases before the new year. The Kosas concealer was one of them. And I have found this to be so easy to use that I actually have been reaching for this on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and I'm going to attempt to do that with this mirror that I have here so that I don't have to keep looking into the viewfinder. But this applies very easily. And by the way, I am 3.5 W. And then not only do I put it under my eyes, I just kind of take it down my face a little bit here. And then I do like to still use the Rare Beauty concealer brush. And this concealer just blends in really well and really easily. And there are some days where I feel like just using this concealer is enough. Like I can just do what I'm doing here, go under my eyes, kind of along my nose and around my mouth and call it good because it just blends in so nicely and really naturally. So you can kind of just do that like spot concealing and even get away without using um, any other foundation. So I really, really like this concealer a lot now I still really like the Rare Beauty one, but I will say that the Rare Beauty color that I have, the shade that I have, I think might be just a little bit too light. So I have just been reserving that concealer for days that I'm filming because it is higher coverage, I would say, than this Kosas one. And also because the fact that it is a little bit lighter, it tends to just be a little bit too, I don't know if dramatic is the right word, but it just lends itself uh, to look a little bit better on film than it does in real life. The Kosas one, on the other hand, is really great for, like I said, in real life, day to day, super natural. I just really, really love how it looks. I don't know exactly how it's going to translate on camera. I think this is the first time I've ever used it on camera, if I'm remembering correctly. So um, this will be a bit of an experiment to see how it's actually looking on camera, but in real life, I just really love how natural it looks and how easy it is to use. So like I said, day-to-day -day basis, I can apply this super, super fast. I'm, I'm working it in a little bit more here right now with you guys on camera, but um, on a daily basis, this just melds into the skin super fast. So I feel like I can just kind of slap it on my face, blend it in really fast. And then of course, like put on a little bit of eyeliner, quick mascara, and basically just run out the door. So when I'm at this point, I kind of usually have two decisions that I want to make. One of them is, am I going to go the route of doing my Jane Iredell Pure Press Base? And I love using the Eco Tools Kabuki brush. I don't know if they still make this. I, I think this maybe has been discontinued, but if you can find this Eco Tools Kabuki brush, it is is so great for applying powder foundation. So what I typically do is just swirl the Kabuki brush into my Jane Iredell Pure Press Base. And then after I do that, I will take a spritz of whatever toner it is. Typically I'll just use a hydrosol, but I do have this at the ready right here. And then I will spray the brush with a couple spritzes of whatever toner I have handy. And then of course I will apply it to my face. I think what I'm going to do today, just so that I can show you what the Lisa Eldridge foundation looks like on my skin, I think I will go ahead and demonstrate this because I actually have been reaching for this quite a bit because it is really easy to use and it works really well with the finish that I have going on my face right now. So because the Say Sun Visor gives you a really dewy finish, it works really well with the Lisa Eldridge foundation. So the Lisa Eldridge foundation is a matte to satin finish. I'm sure you all have seen other reviews for this foundation. Many people have already talked about it, but it does give a very satin matte type of finish. And so a lot of people are finding that you do need to have a dewy product and emollient product underneath it. So that's why I have really been enjoying using this on top of something on the dewy side, such as 
the sun visor. So what I have been doing is just taking a pump of this and then maybe even additional half a pump. And then I will mix it with just the tiniest little bit of the Walita skin food. So I'll try to show you here just like a little tiny little dollop of it. And then I just blend it in my hands together and then just apply it basically like a moisturizer. And then when it comes to the concealer, I just kind of dab a little bit over. And that's because, and I didn't mention this, the color that I got uh, in the Lisa Eldridge foundation, I believe is number 16. I got the color for True Olive and I feel like it's a little bit on the dark side. So I just tap it over lightly on the concealer because I just want the colors to blend very seamlessly. I just want it to blend really nicely. I'm not sure if you can tell, but when I look into the mirror over here, I feel like kind of that dewy glossy look that the sun visor gave has now toned down now that I have the Lisa Eldridge foundation on. I feel like that combination of the sun visor with the Lisa Eldridge foundation now looks more kind of just mildly glowy rather than that hyper glossy finish that the sun visor gives. And I just really love that glow. To me, it just feels like that really beautiful lit from within glow. I do have a light on behind the camera, so I feel like it's a little bit exaggerated. I'm never gonna have this kind of light right on me just in daily life, but in kind of more of a natural light, it does just give a really beautiful kind of, like I said, that illuminated, you know, uh, lit from within glow, and it just looks really beautiful. I have really, really been liking the Lisa Eldridge foundation uh, when it is combined with just, like I said, a, just a smidge of the Walita skin food and with something very emollient underneath. On its own, I don't like it. On its own, it is way too satin matte for me. I don't like the finish. If my skin were on the oily side, then I think I would like the finish, that satin matte finish. But for me, with my skin being normal to dry, I definitely prefer to add just a smidge of something emollient, not only underneath the foundation, but I really do prefer putting in just, like I said, just a little bit of that Walita Skin Food is just absolute perfection. I think not only for the texture, but I think for the color that I got is just maybe a little bit too dark, so I need to tone it down just a little bit. But I think, um, I mean, it's gonna take me forever to get through this because I only need a pump to a pump and a half of it, so it's gonna take a while. But I don't think I would necessarily get a lighter foundation because that combination is just so perfect and I really do love how the color looks and I love the texture with that combination. So anyway, the foundation really has been a big hit for me. Like I said, when I do just add a little bit of an emollient moisturizer to it. So as I mentioned, I'm just filming my day-to-day -day routine. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I am not going to be setting my under eyes. Maybe I would if I was going to work, just running errands, probably not. If I were filming a video, I definitely would. So typically I would reach for the Kosas Cloud Set. I use the color Comfy. I'll show you what that looks like just so that you can see for reference. So this is what Comfy looks like. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that right now because like I said, this is just a day-to-day -day routine in terms of my makeup, you know, trying to get out of the door. Uh, quickly so I just want you guys to see what that's gonna look like doing just what I have done here because this is something that I would be doing on a day-to-day -day basis so I'm gonna skip the setting of the under eye so what I would do next on a day-to-day -day basis is I definitely would reach for some kind of a bronzer and I want to show you guys this set from OG this is their crystal contour collection they sent this my way and it is really lovely it has a highlighter and a blush and a bronzer and I have been really loving the bronzer so I'm going to show this to you it looks really um, really dark let me see if I can get it up a little bit more so that you can see it but it is actually quite sheer and I'm actually going to show it to you on my eyes so where's Matt where's that mirror let me grab that mirror again so I can show you I really love this color I think it is so beautiful. I really love this color on my eyes. It just gives this really beautiful kind of cool tone 
bronzy color on the eyes. And I think I'm actually gonna go directly onto my eyes, which is what I would do to save time here. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. I find it really, really flattering. And then of course, let's go for it on the cheeks, which I also find to be really pretty. So interestingly on the cheeks, it's quite sheer, even though it looks kind of dark in the stick, but so flattering. I really, really love this color. Out of all three products that are in this set, I believe I really find the bronzer to be my favorite. And let's just go ahead and play with the blush. This is Rose Quartz. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my cheeks real quick. I think we've got it out. Sometimes I'll put blush on if I'm running some errands. It just sort of depends on how pale I'm feeling. And I might kinda swipe this on my lips as well. Cause again, Kind of just rushing out the door and I feel like that actually got a little messy. So I'm going to take that concealer brush and let's try that again with an actual lip brush. <laughs> so maybe not as quick as I was hoping it to be, but super pretty. I really, really like that color. It's really pretty. And typically I just do not reach for a highlighter on a daily basis, you know, if I'm running out the door, but just to complete this OG set, I'm just going to put on a little bit of that highlighter just to see what it looks like. Kind of blends in with that whole like glowy lip from within look. So yeah, that's really pretty as well. So yeah, this OG set is really nice. I believe it is still available. I think it was a part of their winter collection, but I think this actually looks really nice for the summer as well, especially this copper bronzer. I think copper is the name of the bronzer, rose quartz is the blush, and both of them are really lovely. I will say though that most commonly though, when I'm running out the door, I'm not gonna be wanting to pull out my lip brush to complete a lip look. So what I have been doing typically is reaching for a lip gloss. So I'm gonna blot this lip off real quick and show you the lip gloss that I have been reaching for, and this is the Merit one in, or their lip slick in Au Naturel. And I love this color so much. I've been reaching for Au Naturel and I've also been reaching for taupe quite a bit. And I also just realized that I did not do my brows or my mascara. So brows, daily basis, all I do is I just spoolie them, just brush them super fast. And then honestly, in terms of mascara, if I am racing out the door, then I am definitely reaching for my Glossier Lash Slick. This is just a standby that I am always going to reach for because I just find it to be foolproof. Just super easy to put on. And I just absolutely love that mascara. It's just going to be a staple for ever, I think. And then what I've been reaching for almost on a daily basis now, like for the last, I don't know, three to four weeks is the Victoria Beckham um, Kajal Eyeliner in, what is this? This is bronze. This has been such a game changer for me because all I have to do is just lightly touch it to my waterline, barely have to touch it, and it deposits this beautiful pigment. I mean, I have to go kind of slow but I barely have to touch my waterline and then it's done. I mean, I just find it to be so pretty, uh, so user-friendly and, but user-friendly in the way that you just barely have to touch your waterline. I mean, if you go heavy handed, it's gonna be a really dramatic look, which can be super beautiful, but for daytime, again, running errands, you know, meeting a friend for lunch, just being super casual or whatever, uh, and you don't wanna go heavy handed, you just barely have to touch your waterline and you're gonna get a nice um, deposit of pigment. So I'm gonna put my hair down here Put on my favorite little earrings that I forgot about that I just discovered the other day that I haven't worn in probably three years. 
And then that does it, just a really easy daytime look. I kind of got a little bit out of order with the lips coming before the mascara and the eyeliner because I went ahead and put that blush on my lips, which, you know, worked out in terms of the color. I feel like the color was really pretty, but I didn't do a great job of uh, staying within the line. So that kind of threw me for a minute, but I really do love that uh, lash lick from um, Merit. I think that the Au Naturel and the Taupe have been beautiful colors and big favorites for me to reach for over these last few weeks and definitely months. So as I mentioned, that does it for my daily routine as far as skincare goes and my daily routine in terms of makeup when I just wanna get out the door in a hurry and I'm just doing casual things uh, for the day. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.